uh, was nested inside a Judeo-Christian view that fundamentally presumed that both men and women were made in the image of God and that all people had divine value. And it took a long time for that set of ideas to fully manifest itself in the political realm. But to consider that a manifestation of identity politics is, I, I, I can't imagine why you would possibly do that. I don't consider that a manifestation of identity politics. I consider having a constitution that says only some people are citizens to be a manifestation of identity politics. Well, what do you think changed it across time? And, uh, and, and, and look, let's get our definition straight here. You can't lump all occurrences of uh, non-equal treatment into the category of identity politics. Identity politics is a very specific thing. It's really only existed since the 1970s. You can't go back into to 1770 and say that the founders of the American Constitution 